All right, drivers and dashers, welcome back to Pay to Drive. Hit that subscribe, turn on notifications with the bell, hit that like, and let's do this. So, um, another video, another topic that was on my mind lately. Uh, I know I tend to talk a lot about DoorDash. Um, I sometimes talk about Grubhub, um, but you know I've been trying to get back into talking about more Uber Eats related stuff because there's been a lot of requests for Uber Eats content. So this is something I wanted to put out there. A lot of people lately, a lot of Uber Eats drivers have been coming forward and saying, you know, Pete, I just feel like Uber Eats is dropping the pay slowly but surely. We're, we're getting paid less and less and less. And I know we're seeing this on DoorDash in many ways too with those, you know, $2 and $3 payouts. Uh, you know, I've seen Uber Eats payouts that were less than $2 uh, in the last six months. Um, and it just, it's sickening. It's truly sickening. Um, and like I've said, so many times for the past four years, I just say, why not give every delivery driver $5, no more, no less as a fee that they get. So if the customer doesn't tip, they get five bucks. They at least know that they can make, you know, 10 to $15 an hour. You know what I mean? On all no tip orders. Let me tell you something, man. You would have a lot more drivers in better spirits if they knew that they were getting paid five bucks it's an insult to say to somebody here go get in your car and drop off this order for two dollars i mean in my opinion anything under five dollars is is just it's an insult and lots of people have agreed that five dollars should be the minimum static payout that every driver gets on every single order charge the customers a little bit more of a fee i'm telling you you'll have cost you see here's the thing if you charge more of a fee the customers who don't want to tip in a way it's like gratuity is included for the driver these companies really need to do that but the problem is they won't because they need to remain competitive to you know grubhub doordash and the others you know um, really, this applies towards all three of the, the big three, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. But more specifically, I wanted to gear this towards Uber Eats drivers. So in the chat or the comments, I want to hear from you. Um, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that a $5 minimum plus tips would be the best way to go. What would your minimum be if you were in charge? Realistically, everyone's going to say $50, but realistically, if you were in charge compared to that two, $3 you're getting, what would you do? Let me know down below, subscribe, like, share, and uh, I want to hear from you. There are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you.